risks. 30% of restaurants, 30% won't make it through this pandemic, and that sounds low uh, based on different studies that we've heard lately. Joining me now for more is Kyle Noonan, the owner and CEO of Free Range Concepts. They operate 11 restaurants in the state that combine eating experiences with things like a dog park, a bowling alley, and live music. Sounds like a great time, Kyle, uh, normally speaking, but a, but a terrible place to be doing business right now. So tell us what it's been like. Yeah, I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a mess so far. But um, and like you said, uh, my concepts generally are a good time. Um, now, we do in Texas right now, currently, uh, restaurants are allowed to operate at 50 50 percent capacity indoor dining and then outdoor spaces. Um, as long as you're practicing social, the six feet social distancing, there's no limit. Um, so in my case, uh, my my restaurants are large outdoor spaces sometimes exceeding 25,000 square feet in patio. So I'm uniquely positioned, but the restaurant industry as a whole has been obviously, and everybody knows this, it's been decimated by, by the, the limitations. And, 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 and we obviously, as restaurant operators, we understand why we have to be cautious and why we have to social distance and why we can't open at full capacity. Sure. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we aren't disappointed by it at the same time, because obviously, uh, there's tons of jobs that are being affected and tons of livelihoods. I mean, people save their whole life to open their, their restaurant and you're watching your family life savings kind of in some capacities uh, go up in flames. No, it's so sad. Every day we flip through the papers, there's another story about a restaurant closing down. You drive through town, you drive down the highway and you can see it. It's, uh, you know, you had $50 million of annual revenue that went to zero overnight. So let's talk about the impact on your workers. Uh, you did apply for and get a PPP loan. Um, are, are you able to then keep people on payroll? Um, what's that experience been like and what's going to happen if you can't have, you know, kind of normal operating capacity in the next six to nine months here? Sure. Well, obviously, no industry and no business model works at 50 percent of, of total revenue capacity. So long term, uh, we've got to get back to uh, to doing what we do, uh, which is serving our communities. We did get PPP money, which allowed us to keep our thousand team members employed this whole time, which has been great. Uh, but from a business standpoint, uh, that doesn't really help us because we still have rent. We still have utilities. We still have taxes. We still have all the other expenses. And if you don't have any revenue coming in, it doesn't work. And so you we're really that, that something comes uh, legislatively to help the restaurant industry in particular because this industry has been really the only industry that's been targeted for some reason and and, and, I, and I think we know why but it's been the only industry that's been targeted um, across the board uh, and been forced to shut down and we haven't seen that since really prohibition. No, it's an interesting point. And you, you're talking about legislative solutions here. One of the other concerns that you have and a lot of business owners have is what happens if I'm operating under the rules? Somebody gets coronavirus, turns around and sues me for it. Um, I, you know, that that I think is, is a, a big question hanging over the economy. Sure. Well, I think it, it goes a step beyond that. And we're already seeing commercials on TV. Have you been affected by Corona or, you know, um, so there's these class action lawsuits that are trying to form against businesses. And frankly, whether you got uh, contracted coronavirus in a, in any business, it's hard to prove that. So um, really, these are just class action lawsuits targeting businesses, um, which we need. And this is not just the restaurant industry. Businesses need some sort of protection from this because uh, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of times where uh, where you might have a, an unscrupulous lawyer that's looking to make a buck at the expense of business owners.